morning YouTube family. This is Take 5 with Nanette where we spend a few moments looking at a nugget of information that has the potential to help all of us change our perspective and learn to think for a change. Um, I want to apologize. I missed Saturday's Take 5 uh, with Nanette. And I believe it's the first time that I haven't recorded since September. Um, interestingly um, enough, there wasn't really any reason for it, um, except that um, there was a lot of stuff going on and I didn't make it a priority. So actually maybe it's the second time that's happened, but I wanted to um, um, come and talk to you about something this morning that has been on my mind, um, and that is um, the interesting title that you saw, Are You a Salmon or a Trout? Um, my guess is that most of you know the interesting breeding habit of Alaskan salmon and what they do and how um, they swim upstream to actually um, spawn and have their produ reproduce and have their young. Where trout usually just go with the flow and are, um, you know, <laughs> it's really funny I'm thinking about it right now. We, uh, we could do a whole series probably on just um, lake life. Are you a bottom feeder? Um, are you? <laughs> That's interesting. Well, I'm not going there this morning. I'm just going to talk about the salmon or the trout. You know, um, it is really interesting, and we've talked about this with the porcupine principle and with several other things about how we tend to, especially in our culture where we are, um, have been incredibly comfortable at least most of the time and uh, the greatest population of people. And we have times in our life when we're, when it's not comfortable, but for the most part, we're incredibly comfortable and we don't like to be uncomfortable. And so when things seem to be pushing against us, when um, we tend to think there's something terribly wrong, when it we feel pressure, we tend to want to think there's no way that can be God. There's no way that um, this can be what God had in mind for me. And even a diamond, um's value is increased under pressure and gold, the value of gold is increased when the heat is turned up and the drosses and the, these are, I'm not telling you anything that probably you don't already know, but I was just reminded of it today, um, again, with regards to the fact that the um, salmon chooses to swim against the um, current <clears throat> to get to a place um, to reproduce life. And um, where, I was just wondering, where in your life do you feel like you're swimming against the current? And ask God, you know, is this a current I'm supposed to be swimming against? And what do you have for me in this? Because one of the things I've learned over um, probably the past 15, 20 years of my life is that God's always got a surprise and a blessing for us in things. And we just have to have eyes to see it. 
And a lot of times, if we're not asking, we're going to miss it and we're not going to see it. So hopefully that's something that you can ponder and think about today and um, figure out where that might be able to create a change in your thinking in your life today. Thanks for listening and we'll see you next time. Mm-hmm.